How you doing, folks? I'm Trina Sanders, and you're tuning into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Show Love Challenge is in full effect. So don't forget that everywhere you go today, just make sure you show love to at least one person. Go give them your business card. You know, if you're out with your husband, your girlfriend, boyfriend, go up to meet another couple. Ask them how they doing. You know, show love. You know, once you show love, you get love back. That's what life is all about, baby. Anyway, let's get right down into it. Simple-minded people. Oh, man. They're everywhere, right? Simple-minded people, they just always want to bring you down. They always want to make nothing out of something. Well, now, that's kind of like what we do. We turn nothing into something. But some people want to do it in a negative way. Some people want to turn something positive into something negative and make it important so that you have to experience defeat, failure, upset, pain. You know, let's just go ahead and say it like this. There are a lot of people in your life that won't be like you. There are a lot of people who don't believe in making themselves better first. You know, there are a lot of people who point fingers and say, you are the bad guy. They're not. So when you're this light in the world, I like to refer to the scriptures and stuff. And I knew like Jesus Christ, when, the, when I was raised on the Bible, we always learned that Jesus Christ was the light of the world. And so this is a consciousness. And this consciousness, this light consciousness, this higher consciousness, when you're living like this every day, trying to make yourself better, other people's lives better in the world, a better place, people notice you doing that because they can feel your energy for one. You know, and for two, they can see it in your attitude. They can see it in your behavior. And when people don't have that, when they aren't able to tap into their inside themselves and they don't really want to and they don't choose to, they look at you as an enemy. Y'all ever seen that movie, Enemy of the State? <laughs> That's why I just thought of to make me say that. But anyway, they look at you as the enemy. They look at you as somebody who, who might be stopping them from getting the things that they want. Whatever their motives are, whatever their intentions are, they feel as though you're a threat because you're a positive person. Wow, isn't that radical? That is absolutely ridiculous. And so, some people who see positive as negative and negative as positive, they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to be on the realm team. They don't want you to make yourself better because they don't want to do it for themselves. And so that's one less person that they have to feel less around. You know, and when you have this energy, I'm pretty sure you do. When you have this good energy about yourself with these good vibes coming off and this good energy pulsating off of you, it makes some people feel intimidated because they feel like I'm not there yet. They, they might look at their clothes. They might look at their image. They might see themselves, you know, for, in their third eye. And they might think that they're nothing. They might think that they're worthless. You know, a lot of people don't have high self-esteem like that. You know, so a lot of people look at something with high self-esteem as, like I said, bougie. <laughs> if you didn't watch my video on uh, five signs you're bougie, I need you to go watch that video after you watch this video. And make sure you subscribe, guys, and speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment at the very bottom in the comment section. But anyway, they might say you bougie. Like me, for instance, they, they used to call me a pretty boy when I was little. When I was little, a lot of people in high school, a lot of people called me the pretty boy. Friends called me the pretty boy. Why? Because my skin tone that God made me was a little lighter than all the dark-skinned people who I grew up with. You know, I used to like, I like to used to brush my hair all the time. Like, I used to like to brush my hair and, and make my hair be straight and nice. You know, and I always wanted to present myself as a as a, a handsome guy because from my perspective growing up if you look good or even decent people like you i mean people want to be around other nice beautiful people like girls like handsome men <laughs> you know and men like nice beautiful pretty young women but you know and so you know simple-minded people have a tendency to bring you down to their level simply because they can't see it out of your eyes they can't see life out of your eyes and so that's one thing that we lack in society is knowledge. A lot of people don't want to get the understanding, but will rather make a judgment off of a few things that they don't even know that they're talking about. And my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And like I said, I like to refer to scriptures, and that's one of the main scriptures in it that's never, that's never left my mind. 
and it came from God. It said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And ignorance, ignorance is the ultimate killer in society. You know, ignorance. That's the difference between good and evil. It's, it's either you, I'm gonna just be straight up. It's either you smart or you're dumb. It's either you wanna get information or you don't care to know information and you just go off your judgment. And you just judge people, and you criticize people, and you make people feel bad. Well, we're not simple-minded people here on the Infamous Living Room Network. And if somebody ever thought you was a simple-minded person, just know that all it takes is to you, for you to come to a realization to say, hey, I don't want to look down on positive people. Because I used to be that person once upon a time, too. I used, to, I used to think that it was pretty lame to be positive. A lot of people told me that being positive and being a good dude like I am today was bad. You know, they made me feel bad about doing the right thing. And so that's why I wound up in a few troubling situations when I was younger, because in my world, when I grew up, it was cool to be bad and it was negative to be positive. So if that's you, just know you can change and renew your mind. You know, you can be a positive person. You can live in the world and be full of light. Okay, trust me, you'll win a lot of friends like us here on the infamous Living Room Network I hope this message resonated with you guys. Please speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment at the very bottom. I love you guys. In the meantime, I'll see you next time. Peace.